Okay, I'm here to do an update on JK's motorcycle. So we have pulled the cam chest apart. Uh, we checked his crank run out. It was about between four and five thousands, which is pretty common on a bike with 19,000 miles. Uh, I'd have no problem installing a sprocket drive uh, camshaft on that. Uh, we found that he did have the late oil pump and the late end cap. And as you can see, this is an early Harley end cap and the late one actually has this O-ring seal. And what we have found is this O-ring seal does a lot to prevent um, wet sumping in these motorcycles. So during his baseline, we dumped out the crankcase and we found that it had about two and a half ounces of oil, which is low, but it's very good. It's, this is about the norm on one of these engines that has the later end cap on it. Um, if you're doing a cam install and you dump the bottom end and you find that you've got 14, 16 ounces of oil, you're wet something and you need to figure out why. Um, we highly recommend the use of this late plate with the O-ring um, on pretty much any of these installs. They're very inexpensive. Buy it from your, your local dealer uh, whenever you do your cam install. So where we're at right now, we have the 468s installed, the improved drive sprocket is installed, we have high quality lifters, and we're just about to install the push rods and adjust them for the new cam. Okay, so this is what JK's cam and lifter look like at 19,000 miles. Um, if you read the service manual for this motorcycle, it's going to call this roller frosting. I call this roller destroying itself. And effectively what's happening is there's a material transfer between the roller surface and the cam. And these two are very high pressure points in the valve train and you cannot have that. So we are replacing the cam of course for power, but we're gonna replace the lifters at the same time. Um, there's just, you know, you can tell that there's good oil flow through the engine. Um, this is kind of the sign of a lifter that is not of the greatest quality. The, the metal is not of the greatest quality. So this is a very common thing that you're gonna find. Uh, I think it's a good thing that we're doing this cam install right now because we're stopping this before anything bad happens. I don't deem this bad right here because there's no um, shedding of material. There's only a transfer between the roller and the cam load itself. So in time, this would ultimately be a problem and it could cause metal to go through your entire engine. And we don't want that, so all of this is getting replaced. So when you left, we were basically just starting. I believe I just had started taking the exhaust off. Mm -hmm. So we had gotten all those components off. We have um, disassembled the cam chest, took out the old lifters, the original cam, uh, measured the crankshaft run out, which was acceptable. Mm -hmm. um, verified that it had the updated oil pump in the engine with the O-ring seal behind it. Mm -hmm. And we put it all back together. Of course, we've adjusted the push rods. Um, we've installed a new exhaust from Chromeworks. Right now, I'm just mock fitting it to make sure everything's going to line up. And then I'm gonna tie down my oxygen sensors and we're probably gonna start it here shortly. Thunder Max tuner, you put the Yes, the Thunder Max tuner's on it. Okay. Um, it's not final installed. I haven't put the serial number of the motorcycle in it yet. I still have the main fuse out, so. Basically, it's just setting there. Mm.